back to same right fashion academy youtube channel for another interesting tutorial in this tutorial i'll be teaching you how to sew this beautiful wrap palazzo trouser you can see that it's actually very stylish and you can use it for any top at all so here i'm showing you how to wear this trouser as you can see right here so i've wrapped to the back and now i want to wrap to the front as well so if this is what you want to learn in this tutorial i will encourage you to stay till the end of this tutorial to learn more so this wrap trouser is actually very simple it's trending it's beautiful it's something you can even sew in 10 minutes okay so i'll implore you to stay till the end of this tutorial follow video instructions if you really want to get this beautiful wrap trouser the way it is there on the thumbnail thank you so i'll be working with a silk fabric right here so my fabric is silk and i have two and a half yards of fabric right here so these two and a half yards now i'm going to make use of it for the cutting of this wrap trouser so two and a half yards is enough for every size so whatever your size is two and a half but if you're on a super super size you can make use of three yards so, so here is my two and a half yards so uh, the first thing i'm going to do is to put it together like this put your two and a half yards like this together that is the first fold so you can see the open end and this is the folded end then you pick it up from the folded end like this and you are going to match it to meet with the other end this way okay so this is what you are going to have after folding you can see how it is then we are going to work on the folded folded part so i'll just go ahead and keep it like this or i can keep it like this as well to have so this is the part we folded and this is the the folded folded part so this folded folded part is going to be the center front and the center back measurement so after placing it on fold so here is going to be the starting point so you are going to take the measurement from this point of course you are going to have a um, one and a half inch of band so just place your tape above like this and measure the length of your skirt length of my trouser is at 40 but i'll just add 41 inches 41 inches will be for the fold okay so after that the next measurement we are going to take is on the horizontal so from the center front center back go ahead and mark 22 inches so 22 inches is standard and it can work for everybody so here i just took the measurement of what is remaining I have six inches so i'm going to mark this six inches i want to cut off what i have remaining so i'm going to cut it off as you can see so we'll be having a width of 41 by 22 inches After cutting off what we have here is 22 inches okay like i said it's standard for every size then your length remains your measured length after one and a half because it has a band mine is at 41 inches so next is to come to the folded folded part so on this folded edge just go in by four inches then this four inches i'm going to take it to my crouch length so here the crouch length i'm working with here is 12 inches so how did you get your uh, how did i get 12 inches simply go ahead and make use of your your hip measurements 
So whatever your hip measurement is, hip circumference, divide it by 4. So my hip is 48. I divided it by 4 and I got 12 inches. So that is how I got this crouch length at 12 inches. So I measured 12 inches. From here, I measure 12 inches and I mark. I measured 4 inches, I mark. Go up, measure 4 inches and draw a, a rectangle. So I just go ahead and connect a rectangle like this. So after connecting the rectangle, I came in with my pattern ruler and drop it for the crouch curve. So you just go ahead and drop your crouch curve. So that is all for this trouser. So I'm going to cut off the crouch area. So you just go ahead and do what? Cut off the crouch area. Okay. So once you cut off the crouch area, I'm going to also split here open because it's on fold. So you just go ahead and split here open. It's on fold. And also split here open. As you may see. So at the end of the day, when I open this, this is what you are going to have. Can you see that? all right so now i'm going to lift mark this wrong side wrong side because we are going to place it right side to right side to sew i've placed it right side to right side so i'm going to secure them with my pins all around then i'll go over to my machine and i'm going to stitch at 0 0.5 inch all around the crouch so after stitching around the crouch, I'll also go ahead and hem. This is the right side. I'm going to hem it, normal hemming at 0 0.5 like this and top stitch all around the sides, the hem. So you can see I'm done sewing the crouch line. So after sewing the crouch line, I'm going to open up one side like this. So make sure you also hem the sides okay of course i hem the sides as you can see so next i'm going to open up this side like this one part of the crouch just open it up like this so once you open it up here is the center front or center back so that is where we are going to attach the band so the band i have here like i said i'm using one and a half yards of band so, but I changed my mind to make use of two inches. So, my band length is 60 inches. The length of my band is 60 inches from here to here. So, just go ahead and cut out 60 inches. So, after you are done cutting out 60 inches, place your the, the band. Like I said, I'm making use of two inches band, not one and a half again. I just changed my mind. So, that means the width... When I open it, it's five inches. Unfold is two and a half inches. So just fold the two and a half inches of your band. Fold it to the end of the other band. The other end like this. So what are we trying to do here? We are trying to get the center point of this band. So at the center point of my band, I'll just go ahead and create a notch at it so just create a notch at it like this so that will now show us the center so like i said this is the center i'm going to turn this dress like this note that i'm working on one part of the dress so i'll turn it like this this is my band on fold you can go ahead and heste if you want so i'll just go ahead and open up the seam Give it a good press. I'll open it up like this. 
and I'll secure with my pin from this end to this other end. I'll go over to the machine. I'm going to stitch 0 0.5 inch till I get to the end. I will do that and I'll come back to show you what next to do. See, I'm done sewing it. So this is what I have as my excess and I have it this way too. So next you are going to do now is to flip this side to this fold in 0 0.5 and pin the center to the center like this so i'll secure with my pin right now i'll just go ahead and secure it so just fold it on top of the same line so your band can be of your desired width choice so i just thought of making two inches band i think it's better the one inch was too much one and a half inch was too small for me for what i want so i'll do the same fold in half an inch and secure with my pin to the end then i'm going to stitch from here to the end and show you what to do with this so here I'm done top stitching to the end. So what I did was I didn't get actually get to the end because I'm still going to work on the open part. So for this open part, just simply go ahead and match it like this and stitch before half an inch. Just leave half an inch. So I'm done stitching it now. So next I will do is to turn it to the right side. So once you turn it to the right side now, this is what you are going to have. Okay, this is what you are going to have. So you can see I left some inches. So I'll continue the folding now. I'll fold in from end to end, half an inch like this. You can secure with your pin and go over to the machine. Continue your stitches till you get to the end. That's what I'm going to do for the other side too. So here you can see is ready that is one part is ready so everything i did here i'm going to repeat it for the other part now so let me keep it the way it was before this was how it was before so you can see we are done finishing here now as you can see we are done finishing here so I'm going to repeat the same for this side now. Let me do that. Okay, so that is the crotch area which I stitched and I've finished up the bands as you can see as well. So now we are done with this tutorial. It's actually a very simple wrap trouser tutorial. So we are done with it now. You can see what I have on this other end. So next is how to wear it. So how to wear it, you are going to wear the whole of this. Like I said, this is center front and this is center back. So you just go ahead and pick up the center front as it is and put it on your waist and tie it to the back. After you tie it to the back, this is what you have on your waist. Then this other part, now this other waist part you can see we have this already as the waist so you are going to flip this to the back like this of course you saw how i tied it at the beginning of this tutorial so you now bring this other part to the front and tie the rope to the front so i believe this class was helpful to you so if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe Turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends. Drop your comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well. Thank you once again. See you in the next class. Bye.